in so long and that is because I have not but welcome back to my channel it feels so good to finally just sit down um a little update last month I actually did film a video last month but it was like a playlist video and YouTube was like nah sis we not about to let you upload this with all this copyright so technically it hasn't been a month because I edited the video and everything and it was uploaded and everything and so that doesn't really count so it's really just been like a couple of weeks but I am back now and still but I'm back now and I will start uploading more content a lot more regularly I just had a moment where I was starting to feel really overwhelmed um, and I had to sit down and really like make sure I was good to be able to keep consistently uploading and creating content. So this video is really going to be about my journey with entrepreneurship, kind of how I started, what sparked it all, um, where I'm headed, and really how this year has been for me with entrepreneurship once I started to really truly call myself an entrepreneur and really truly work towards my businesses and building my brands and what I've learned and what I feel like I can share with entrepreneurs who are facing self-doubt facing um not really being motivated to reach their next goals and go full force into their business so I hope this touches somebody's heart somebody's mind I hope it motivates somebody to keep pushing forward because entrepreneurship ain't no joke I guess I will start from the beginning <laughs> I always say I'm gonna start from the beginning and the beginning is so far back so the beginning of 2018 that was my last semester in college and I was working towards finding a job of course <laughs> but I was also heavily involved in my chapter of my sorority on campus of course and I was still trying to find the balance to do everything and graduate on time while taking 18 credit hours Side note, don't ever do that. Um, so I knew I had a knack for designing and creating digital content. I knew that I was capable because I had made As Told by Tay um, and I was making like graphics and everything for my organizations on campus. And it was something I love. Like I love creating things from scratch. I love kind of putting things together and bringing visions to life. And so I knew I always had a knack for it. But I also knew I was lazy and I did not want to try to figure out Photoshop. Because I knew Photoshop could produce the quality content that I needed, but I didn't, I really did not want to learn it. Like I was trying my hardest to try to finesse every program online that I could before I sat down and just did like Photoshop. And so I think it was around. February or March it might have been February where one of my line sisters said she needed a flyer for an event that she wanted to put on and it was going to be a new event for the chapter and it was um, going to be something really big where we invited people from the community out and it was just something that was really great and so she wanted me to make a flyer so of course I agreed and so I started um, using the programs that I usually use online and things just weren't working out. It just felt like she was getting something that was thrown together. Even though it wasn't thrown together, it looked thrown together because a lot of like online programs have like two dimensional. It looks really flat. It looks really like just there. It didn't have any substance or dimension to it. And so I was really just like, I don't want <laughs> Like, I can't give this to her, not for the, like, magnitude of this event. I can't submit this for it to be posted online, shared with everybody. And so I need to figure out Photoshop. I need to just get it together and figure it out. So I went to somebody who <laughs> I love dearly and who has so much patience for me. Um, my friend Sydney, who is amazing at designing as well. And so I sat down and I was like, please teach me how to do this and please help me make this flyer and because she has the heart of a saint she sat down with me in the library we were there for like maybe like four hours 
and we figured out this whole flyer and she taught me the basics of everything she um helped me answer all my questions and kind of let me figure things out to see how everything worked because photoshop is a lot i still don't know like a good bit of it but i know enough to make really good digital content which i do now but um so i'm really really grateful for her because the flyer that we made was absolutely amazing for it to be my first photoshop flyer it was amazing everyone had loved it um and that's when I kind of realized, oh, I can really do this, like, for real, for real. That was really, like, the spark and the push that motivated me to keep learning and keep growing and keep, like, playing around with stuff and perfecting my craft. And so I just started making flyers for everybody. I wasn't charging anybody. I was just like, okay, I can do it. Okay, I can do it. Because I wanted to get that experience. I wanted to be able to broaden my portfolio and as much as I loved making chapter flyers and I still did it for a long time I wanted to go into other organizations because they have different visions they have different brand colors they have all that different stuff and so I was just making flyer after flyer after flyer I was like yes I could do it yes I could do it and so that branched out to me making like Instagram highlights for people um making YouTube banners for people and I also really started specializing in resume revamps and started creating more um creative style resumes and not just the simple black and white and so I noticed that things really started to pick up for me and people were referring me to their friends and if they needed anything they would come to me and so I was just like well this is fun and this is great and I love the experience but experience is not going to pay my bills so let me see if this will and so i started charging i was charging so low like oh my god if you got something from me when i first started charging you got a steal for real and so i just started and i think that's why a lot of people came to me because i charged so low and then got like amazing um amazing designs but i started charging people and as I started charging people, more clients like steadily came in. It's been like a steady, it's such a blessing because it's been like a steady pace of clients. I don't think I've gone like a month with any less than like three projects, no matter big or small. I don't, since I've started, I don't think I've gone a month without it, which is an amazing thing for me because I'm able to grow. I'm able to do more. Like people ask me to do things I probably have never done before, but I promise you I'll figure it out by the end of the project. And so from there, I, as I started working on more projects and as I started kind of growing my clientele, I got the great idea that I could go full-fledged entrepreneurship right after college. And Lottie, that was a test of time. It was not fun. Like, it was like, not fun. Because to be honest, I didn't really have a plan after I graduated. I knew I needed a job, but I didn't really know what I wanted to do. Um, so I was loosely applying. Like it wasn't anything serious just to kind of get my mom and my sister off my back. I was applying to jobs, but I knew that right now I wanted to try the full entrepreneurship route. And um, to be completely honest, it was not what it needed to be like I took advantage of that time but not in a good way like I took bad advantage of that time and so I didn't have a job for well I didn't have like a full-time job for about six months so whenever I officially graduated which was July up until December when I started working I was just doing full entrepreneurship there are so many takeaways that I got from that time period of trying to do full-time entrepreneurship that helped me so 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 much right now and the main one is time management and just prioritizing what I have to do and actually getting it done. I know I say it like in every video and <laughs> that my 
theme of this year is do what I say I'm going to do. And that came from me not doing what I needed to do and what I said I was going to do. Um, so when those six months started, it was, of course, that fire of, oh, I'm going to do this. Oh, this is going to be great. Oh, I can do this, that, and the third, everything. I have so much time and all that kind of was at the forefront. And so once I had left my college job because where I worked, I couldn't work there after I graduated. So I just left August 1st. And so once I did that, I still had clients coming through and I still had like projects that I was always working on. And I had like launched my website, I launched my brand, I launched all that, but I didn't take the time to focus on building the foundation for it. Um, I was kind of building it as I was going because I was still working on projects. And I don't, I feel two ways about it when you are trying to put something out that will have longevity. Um, I definitely feel like you need to take the time to plan it out and make sure that it has a solid foundation, but I don't, I feel like you can over plan and you can kind of like try to set all these plans, but you haven't put any action towards it. So you don't really know the outcome. You're trying to predict an outcome and it can be completely different once you put it in motion. So I feel like you shouldn't try to over plan. You should take it, um, not day by day, but you should take it um, in chunks and in like blocks of time and look how your progress is going and then plan accordingly with your progress. See where you need to pivot. See where you need to expand. Definitely don't try to plan like your whole quarter because the next day something could just completely flip. But I was just literally taking it day by day. And I was trying to do that while also trying to do my projects. And so I was getting overwhelmed. And when I get overwhelmed, I completely shut down. I end up in my bed on Netflix for hours. And so I was having a lot of Netflix days. I was still trying to be really, really involved in my chapter, even though I had graduated. Um, So I was still like with my line sisters on campus all the time I think we were preparing for meet the Greek so to be fair <laughs> I needed to be there but I was still spending way too much time I was giving too many people my time I was way too accessible and way too available and I wasn't getting what I needed in return and what I needed was balance I needed <laughs> focus I needed drive and I was not getting that I was just kind of like going through the motions and that's also how I gained so much weight I gained so much weight in those six months because I wasn't really doing anything I was like sitting down um working on projects I was on the couch for like 12 hours like yeah I was working on projects but I wasn't using my day to the fullest potential and so that caused me to kind of backtrack more than anything, I feel like I didn't grow in these six months because I wasn't putting my best foot forward every single day. And I was kind of taking entrepreneurship as a, oh, this is a cute, fun thing to do. And so by the time I got to December, um, things had not turned out the way I needed them to, to keep this going. Like, I knew I wanted to be an entrepreneur. Like, I know that is my ultimate goal. Of course, no one wants to work for anybody else, but there's a special drive that an entrepreneur really has. Like, it is the biggest faith in yourself. Like, you have to have the most faith in yourself because no one's going to know your vision. No one's going to know where you're trying to go. Like, you have to know that you are going to get this done and not let anything stand in your way and not any not let anything deter your spirit like it takes a special kind of person to be an entrepreneur and do I believe I'm that person of course I do because if y'all knew the things that I have planned in 2019 like honestly the things that I have planned next month like it's like it's just it's just me it's just the taking the risk, being um, confident, being fearless, like just knowing that this, what this idea, this vision, this service that you're providing has value. You have to know that 
what you are bringing to the world has value and you have to believe it has value because if you don't believe it has value no one else is going to believe it has value no one else is going to want to work with you no one else is going to want to buy your product no one else is going to want to listen to what you have to say you have to exude confidence and exude fearlessness to be an entrepreneur and that's what I learned from those six months yeah I was struggling real hard. Thank God I lived with my mama rent-free. And at that time, I did not have to pay for my car. So thank God I had that. I still had a roof over my head. I still could get places I need to go. I still had food. Like, I was still making money to, like, bob. Like... <laughs> I was, but I, of course I wasn't making enough. I had bills to pay. I have credit card debt I have to pay off. Like I wasn't being realistic. And that's the thing, like this home, being a full-time entrepreneur, it is very much possible. It is very, very, very much possible if you are that type of person who has those resources to be able to sustain your monthly expenses and also push through this. Or you just have that right now. And I am okay to admit that I don't have that. And that's okay because it is not in my plan to be full-time entrepreneur. Like, I got stuff I have to handle financially. So when December came, I knew that I needed to get a job. And so I applied to a job that my line sister had posted about. And... <laughs> I got hired and I started working and that's when I hit like a new phase of entrepreneurship and that is balancing entrepreneurship while also working full time and this has been the most beneficial and the best chapter I'm in right now and it's crazy because I thought me having more time would be the best time of my entrepreneurship journey. But this right here has taught me so much and I love it so much because it gives me the freedom, the financial freedom to still be able to work on my projects. But know that every two weeks I have a check coming in no matter what because I show up to my job. I do my job. I do it well and I get paid for it. And so that pays my bills and it pays for honestly it doesn't pay for my entrepreneur it literally pays for my bills and to like live in my now car note rest in peace coco but um my projects that i get from designing actually pays it's like a return it pays for what it needs to which is like the subscription to adobe the subscription to like my sites like that little stuff it's not super expenses like one project can pay for all that which is a blessing because I don't have a lot of expenses in my entrepreneurship entrepreneurship endeavors yet <laughs> but I probably will within the next month but once I got hired I knew that I had to have a shift like there had to be a shift in what I was doing I had to make something shake I had to put action behind my words I had to want this for myself I had to want it more than anyone else would want it for me because at the end of the day I believe in myself more well no because at the end of the day you really only have yourself and you are your biggest cheerleader and you are your biggest supporter so I had to believe in myself more than anyone else and I had to tell myself that no matter what this is going to happen and I tell myself that every day when I wake up when I'm filming it's like almost one o'clock in the morning and I just got back from work and I decided I need to sit down because I've been saying I was going to film this video for so long and I have been putting it off and I had to check myself and I was like didn't you say you are going to do everything you say you're going to do this year and so here I am at one in the morning talking to you all and sharing my journey with you all and so I started putting action behind my words I started planning in a way that was beneficial to me to where every plan I wrote out every to-do list came with the action item so I could keep pushing forward and keep working towards these goals to one day be able to be a full-time entrepreneur because of course that's still what I want to do but it's 
right now, what I need to do now is be in a financial position to where I can be like, deuces, I'm going to work on designing and everything else that I'm trying to do full time. So when January came and I started to get my work schedule and I started to kind of see how my days were going to go with working, I started to develop a schedule for myself and a routine for myself so that I would be able to do my projects and do my comp, not even just my design projects, do my content for As Told by Tay, um, film videos, edit videos, like create designs, everything. I had to make my life like <laughs> it had to go like clockwork because if it didn't, if one thing got thrown off, the whole day was going to get thrown off because that's how like anal I really am. And so I had to start developing a morning routine. I had to make myself wake up in enough time to be able to film, to be able to make my lunch to go to work because I work an hour away from my house. <laughs> like I have to leave my house at two o'clock. And if I don't leave at two, I'm not going to be at work on time. And I have to understand that. And so my morning routine goes from me waking up, doing a devotional, um, cooking, my lunch and dinner and my snacks um drinking tea and getting myself together and then I started I bought a gym membership and with my gym membership I had to have the discipline of I am only I bought it for the planet fitness that's by my job and so now I have to leave the house at 12 to be at the gym by one to work out until two to get ready at 2 30 to get to work by three like my life had to completely shift like I wasn't accessible at all at that point um like people were asking me where in the world I am like I had to make like, I had to want this for myself. I had to want change for myself. I wanted to lose weight, so I had to stop buying food every day. And I had to go to the grocery store. I had to make my grocery list. I had to stay within my budget that I now had because I was now getting a um, consistent income. And I had to wake up in enough time to make my food. And I had to wake up in enough time to get to the gym. And I just had to have that discipline. I wanted to put out content. I had to wake up to film content. I had to plan out my day to know um, when I could edit and when I could upload and when I could design the promo. Like This taught me so much about entrepreneurship that it's not just about oh having a service. It's not just about um creating a product it's about the drive that you have to make it happen the drive that you have to make this grow the drive that you have to for people to see your vision and to see your brand and see your business and believe in it because if people do not see that driving yourself and just the regular things you do in your life people are not going to see that drive behind your brand and so with me working 40 hours a week with me designing for Elysian 31, with me uploading content for As Told by Tay, and with me developing with love and care, I've had to completely, like, zone in. For, like, a month, I was kind of losing my speed because I was checking for people who weren't checking for me. And I don't know why I was doing it, and it felt different. Because I usually know when I lose motivation, it just felt different. Because I was still doing what I needed to do, but I knew I was doing it a lot slower. And I knew I was doing it with a little bit of doubt behind it. And so I had to completely check myself. And I had to just start putting myself in, like, full throttle drive. And I had to make those small changes to build it up and build that consistent be consistency back up. Build that discipline back up so that I could keep going. It would go from me just doing little like if I felt myself going back to how I was um last year I would start doing little things that I was trying to change like I would start making sure I was doing my routines more I was starting to write down like I was um starting to write down like what I needed to do in the action items again I was starting to actually do them I was starting to hold myself accountable for what I was trying to get done and it put me back into full force and that's how I am even sitting in front of this camera right now talking to you about it because there are so many highs and lows of entrepreneurship so 
many, there are so many days where you're just like, I don't even have to do this, especially if you are working and you have a consistent check. That's where you have to have double drive because you don't have to do it. Like you can sit, you can go to work, go home, sit down and not do anything. And you're still going to get paid. You're still going to have enough to pay your bills like you're still going to be fine but you have to have that extra drive to know that yeah I'm getting a consistent check but this is not it this is not just me this is not all I want to offer to the world this is not the only value that I have is when I clock in and clock out I want to work for it and so you have to hold yourself accountable you have to check yourself every single day that This is what I need to do. I need to do X, Y, and Z to get my brand to the next level. I need to reach out more. I need to have more engagement. I need to create um, better content. Like I need to do the research to understand my market and understand my audience. Like you have to take those steps and make things happen so that you can get to the next level. And so in about five years you won't have to be working for anybody but yourself because you put in that work um (laughs) uh jesus like i could talk about this all day but it's because i see it in myself sometimes and i see it in my friends around me and i see it in people who are also pursuing entrepreneurship like it is hard it is trying and it's days where you literally want to give up but you can't (laughs) like God like I said before not everyone is meant to be an entrepreneur and that is okay but God puts those visions into people that he wants to start making those movements like he wants to put those people on the forefront to create change to make things better to provide a solution to people who are in need and that doesn't mean that Just because you are not the leading force that you do not have value in whatever the vision is because entrepreneurs need teams. They need people to help them. Like eventually their brands and their businesses become corporations and they need employees and they might need you. So don't ever think because you don't have the entrepreneurial entrepreneurial like factor or drive. That you don't have value because every single person has value but speaking directly to entrepreneurs you are serving a purpose that is higher than you god has put something inside of you that will continue to grow as you work on it it will never it will never just like be like this because if you are can like building it up and you are working towards it it will continue to rise it will become bigger and better the more like love you put into it the more care you put in the more work you put into it and you have to know that No matter what, it is going to work out. It is going to be everything that you imagined and more, but you have to have that drive. You cannot give up. You cannot come home from work and be like, I don't even feel like doing it today because you don't know who needs you. Yes, of course, if you are feeling overwhelmed and you need to take time to yourself, always take time to yourself because people will take your time for granted. And so you have to set those boundaries and make that time for yourself. But don't take about three self-care days in a row. Like, no, because you have work to do and you have to get it done and you have to make these visions come to life. (laughs) So that being said, (laughs) if you are an entrepreneur who is working nine to five, you need to take the time to sit down and really see where you are and where you want to go and see what's stopping you and what obstacles are in your way from keeping you to get from point A to point B because I promise you there's a solution and I promise you that solution comes with priority (laughs) and I promise you that solution comes from prioritizing and having time management I do have an um I do have a blog post on my site that I will link below about my methods of time management that I developed in these few months to that have really truly helped and that I use every single day and I would definitely say read it and try at least like a couple of methods to see how they kind of like change how you feel change your motivation and change how your days go because they have made my life so much easier because I have so much time I am not feeling over I haven't felt overwhelmed in so long 
because of these methods that I have used and I'm still able to do what I need to do for my brands and businesses and still go to work <laughs> and still make money at work. And so I would definitely say read it and check it out and let me know what methods you use for time management, um, where you are in your entrepreneurship journey, what struggles you may have that you are trying to figure it out. And we can figure it out together because I am always rooting for entrepreneurs. I love entrepreneurs. They like fill me with joy to see people going after what they want and making something new. Um, but yeah, this is really just part I know that was like a three part story, but this is really just the beginning. Like I'm hitting entrepreneur, like my year of entrepreneurship in like July, August. And so, but this is just the beginning. Like I'm pretty sure if I redid this video, like six, from, six months from now, I'll have something completely different to say and something completely different to share for you. But like I said, this is this channel my brand is all about my journey and so this is really where i'm at right now i'm working 40 hours a week and i am creating feels like 40 more hours a week and that's i don't even think that's possible but you get my gist it's my life it's my truth and i am making the best of it and i am enjoying every single step of the way so be on the lookout for my next video and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you later. Bye!